My name is Wendy Curson, and I'm a Canadian actor. I want to talk about what it's like to try and make a living in this profession. After almost 30 years in the business, I can tell you that I've had some good years. Years when I've been lucky, lucky enough to work quite steadily and earn a decent income. But there have also been lean years, years when the jobs are few and far between. And in this respect, I'm no different than anyone else who chooses life in the performing arts. It's the nature of our business, and we all experience the same things, the highs and the lows. Many years when we make maybe $10,000 a year, and suddenly a lucky break, a series, and you can make $100,000, but followed by another year when you're back to 10, you can make 30, back to 15. It's ridiculously unpredictable, but we accept the wildly fluctuating incomes go with the territory. What is painful, however, is the fact that our good years are more easily noticed by the taxman than our bad years. We are taxed each year on an assumption that our income is steady from year to year. When we have a good year, we pay the high tax that goes with that high income, and the following year, we can be scraping the money, scraping to find the money just to pay the mortgage. Actors delve into their registered retirement savings plans just to get by, go into debt, hoping that another good year is just around the corner. And let's be clear, we're not talking about a privileged class here, far from it. Performers earn well below the average Ontario income, with artists, in general, earning on average 37% less than other workers. Actor members, Canada's professional actors, earned an average of just $11,831 from their performance work last year. That's the reality of life for the performers who help make Ontario's film and television industry one of the best in the world and a crucial element of the Ontario economy. The Ontario government recognizes the importance of our industry and it provides important tax credits to support it. All partners in the industry appreciate the support we receive to build on our success and to take full advantage of a growing stable of qualified and talented performers, technicians and production staff but we need help to keep that talent in Canada. I've done a lot of work south of the border in LA, New York, and other locations, but I want to work here at home. And we need the government to step up and make life a little easier to make a living here in Ontario. Mr. Tabin's bill is a positive step in that direction. It puts the wheels in motion whereby the government can make regulations that allow artists to average their income over a number of years for tax purposes. Such a move would bring fairness to the taxation system by recognizing the specific circumstances we work under and allow us to pay our fair share based on the reality of our longer-term income. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy.